2004 Touareg um, vehicle starts and then stalls a few seconds after, uh, maybe 10, 20 seconds later, uh, usually indicative of bad fuel pumps. So this car has two fuel pumps. Uh, one of them is an aid, aid pump, which basically only helps start the vehicle. Once the vehicle is started, that, main, that starting pump stops, and it's the, that's the one on the left side here, driver's side. The main pump is over on the passenger side. So if the vehicle starts and runs and then dies, usually it's due to the main pump. Uh, and you can verify that obviously by uh, checking your powers and grounds. Sorry, got interrupted. So what you can do is you can start the vehicle and then listen for, listen for a buzzing sound. Uh, place a screwdriver on the pump housing, put your ear against it, and you should hear it buzz. If it's buzzing, that means that pump is running. Uh, if this pump doesn't buzz, that means it's not running. Uh, the best thing to do is to do a current ramp test, uh, which I might do on this one. Basically just uh, open up the wiring harness. And then you get your uh, current current clamp, uh, inductive clamp, and you clamp it on this uh, uh, battery positive, sorry, on the power supply wire. And you do the same thing on this side. And then you can watch the uh, the health of the pump. It should be nice, even humps. If there are dropouts, that pump is no good. And it's gonna probably gonna be too bright to see um, what it looks like, but. Um, I'm going to save the waveform so you'll see it. And so all I'm going to do is cycle the key. And I, I might be able to see this from the driver's seat. Uh, and then I'm going to start it if cycling alone doesn't show a pattern. Uh, if the pattern is upside down, just invert the uh, scope or swap the, the, the meter around. Okay, so key on. Yeah, it's upside down. So you can either flip the inductive clamp, you can flip the, um, the positive negative lead in the back, doesn't matter. 20 milliseconds, that might be a little bit, that should be okay, but let's go a little bit longer. Okay, key on again. Okay, that one is good. I'm just going to save this. Fuel pump good, save, and uh, the link to these waveforms is going to be in the description. So feel free to have a look down in there. Oops, I went up out too far. Now we do the other one. In this one, you got to carefully cut the plastic sheathing a little bit. Just far enough so you can get your clamp on it. That's still on. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to look at it again to see if it's inverted or not. Um, just gonna start the scale or start the uh, capture over. Okay, key is on. Starting the car. Nothing is happening shut the car off and I'm going to check for power. Now I've got my uh, regular test leads. I'm still going to be measuring voltage. Let's put my positive back probe on the uh, plus connector on the pump. My negative lead is going to back probe the brown negative. <clears throat> I forgot to save the uh, capture of no f no way uh, of the non-existing waveform. Sorry about that. Uh, scale 20 20 volt, and now when I turn the key, I should read at least battery voltage. Uh, 
key on. I got 11.6 volts and then it uh, decreases. It's coming down to 2.5, 2.4. I would have expected it to drop down fairly quickly, but it took its time. I'm just going to go on uh, digital so you can see a bit better. Oh, it won't let me go full digital. Uh, that's okay. One more, one more time, and then I'll. Uh, one more time, and then I'll uh, save it for you guys. So keys off. Key is on. 12 volts. Cranking. I'm starting the car. The car is running. 11 volts steady. But uh, it's going to start dying out in a second. I can hear this pump. I don't hear this one. Car is still running. Still running. Still running. It's starting to die out, dying out, dying out. And it's dead. And you can see the voltage is now dropping because the engines, the speed sensor stopped. No more signal to the fuel pump relay and it cuts uh, power to the fuel pump. I'm just going to save this one as well. And this one is bad. Save. Okay, so this one's getting the main pump. That's the starting pump. In order to replace this one, you have to disconnect. There's a hose on this side that connects with that one. Um, it's quite involved. There, there's a good video on uh, YouTube about that. I'll link that in the description. No need for me to show it. Uh, this was more of a diagnosis in terms of checking uh, why the car stalls uh, in terms of uh, verifying a fuel pump operation. Thanks for watching. Forgot to show you guys that when tapping on the tank, I started the uh, the vehicle. It started on the starting pump. This one wasn't working. It was a flat spot. Uh, so then I went underneath underneath the tank and I just hit it here with my palm with the palm of my hand, and you can see. You can see the bad pattern. It's dropping right out, you know. So obviously this pump is bad. This uh, this waveform will also be in the uh, description for you to download and play with.